Hey guys, Chris Cox here for another guitar lesson. Today we're going to do Dokken, It's Not Love, off the Under Lock and Key album. 80s metal guitar. To my opinion, the best decade ever for the guitar. It was front and center, it was everywhere. So to be alive and be a, you know, a fan of guitar music at that time was amazing. So I miss it. So today, as far as the tuning goes, it is E flat, but it's slightly, it's not exactly E flat, so you're going to have to tune a little bit, uh, do some fine tuning to play along with the CD. Uh, from what I understand, back when they used to make records, uh, sometimes the songs would run a little too long and they would not have enough room to fit them on the vinyl, I guess, and have to speed up the tape just a little bit to make everything fit. So I have a feeling that's what that is. This is a pretty old record. So, okay guys, let's get a hybrid picking technique, meaning that you're going to be using your pick and middle finger as a plucking. It's often a technique a lot of country guitar players use, but it's, it's carried over a lot in rock. So it starts off like this. What you're doing here is uh, seventh fret of the D, ninth fret of the G, plucking the D and G together. You're lifting up your third finger or your ring finger and uh, sliding down to the eighth fret of the G, still keeping your first finger here anchored. So, and then you're just going to basically play this as a chord, but you're going to add a little vibrato. It very eerie sounding, lots of dynamics there. You're going to shift down to the fifth fret and then play so it's going to be still on the D and G string. We're going to lift up the middle finger and then play the fourth fret of the D. Same thing, you're going to play that as a chord and kind of shake the chord. That's going to go through several times and then we're going to come into this riff which you're going to see uh, all these riffs come in several times in the song so it's uh okay so that's going to be a quick slide from the third fret of the low e to the fifth fret so we're doing grab the d note with your pinky come back up here to the third fret of the low e play the third fret of the a come back to the third fret of the low e and then fifth fret of the a so up to speed. So that part is uh, part of the again introduction. Uh, I would say that this would be um, also kind of considered maybe part of the. the in a pre chorus, maybe later in the song. So that's going to be an A5. That's going to be open A, second fret of the D and G. So you have. And then you're doing lots of down strokes that are muted with your palm down here. So it's. So you'll have to kind of play around with where you have your palm back here on the bridge. If you get it too, too far up, it, it won't sound very good. You have to get that sweet spot. So we have. A5 chord. That's going to be 3rd fret of the D, 5th fret of the G, so that's a uh, F5 power chord. Now here we're playing 4th fret of the D, 7th fret of the G. So we have... This little turnaround lick is going to be, and that's going to be fifth fret of the D, seventh fret of the G. Then shift your first finger down to the fourth fret. Keep your pinky finger down here on the seventh fret of the G. So we have. We already learned. That's going to be an open E to G, third fret of the G, third fret of the low E, excuse me, G note, third fret of the low E, then an E5, and the E5 is going to be open E and then second fret of the A. You're going to play this riff, and that's going to 
B open E, F sharp, that's the second fret of the low E, and then you're going to play this G, but we're going to mute the A string. So you're going to kind of lay the flesh of your middle finger over the A so it doesn't ring, but you're going to play third fret of the low E, open D, open G, and then third fret of the B. And then, Yeah, this is there in the Y baby Y part, so it's like uh, this. I guess would be considered uh, the chorus. So. So let's go over that uh, chorus part. So that's going to be an A5, so we're going to learn that. Then we're going to take our pinky and put it down here on the fifth fret of the high E. Your middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the G or the B. And you're going to play all uh, A, D, G, B, and high E together. So it's going to be a. So then, of course, there's a couple of open uh, A strokes here, muted A strokes in between. So we have. We come back and out of that. Uh, third fret of the D, uh, fifth fret of the G. Lift up your uh, ring finger, grab the fourth fret of the G. Pull your volume down. Back into the second verse. Okay, so the second verse is really no different than the first verse, but there is a little different um, chord play right before we go into the bridge, right before the guitar solo. So we're doing that, we're in the Y baby Y part. So all we're doing then, we come out as a... I said a little bit different chord play. We're pretty much playing the same chords we've already learned. So it's a uh, a, uh, a five, and then that's that same chord we played where we're grabbing the high fifth fret of the high E, uh, second fret of the B. And then we're going to go to the G, and here on the A five before we go into the uh, bridge. So that part is going to be um, so we're playing again some more you know we're still pivoting back and forth on that open A string but this time we're actually going to play a power chord so that's going to be third fret of the A fifth fret of the D and then you say so you'll play the open A play the C5 come back to the open here on the D5. And then you're going to do a little bend here on the D and G part of that uh, D5 chord. And that occurs on the seventh fret of the D and G. And then we're doing a. So that's just a chord, open A, chord, open A. Just gonna be C5 to G5, so that's you know third fret of the A, fifth fret of the D, and that's third fret of the low E, fifth fret of the A, 
solo comes in. So underneath the guitar solo, pretty much all you're playing is the same uh, riff we learned earlier. It's, uh... Nothing different. Then we come back and We've already learned those power chords there, and then that's then of course it comes back in there. Outside of the guitar solo, we're finished with the guitar solo. We're going to go over that in just a second, but we're still working on the rhythm guitar part. So we're back into the same thing. We're doing the. So what we're doing there is, you know, how we usually basically go from that G to that uh, um, F, we're going to the low E. So that's just going to be E5, open to E, uh, second fret of the A, put those two notes together to the G, and then that same riff. And this is basically uh, how the song goes all the way to the end. through the end. So for this song is, you know, it starts off with a harmony solo. I'm just going to show you guys basically how to play the melody, uh, since most likely you're, you're going to be the only guitar player, unless you, you might have a harmonizer pedal you could use on this. But it uh, starts off with a, uh, you're going to fret here on the ninth fret of the G, and you're going to be pivoting back and forth on the open A, kind of like we have in all throughout the other the parts of the song. So it's... So that's going to be... Ninth fret to the seventh fret. Play it again. But add a little vibrato there, and then we're going to play this rip lick. That's going to be seventh fret of the D, fifth fret of the D, seventh fret of the D, ninth fret of the D, back to the seventh fret. So we have. So we have this so far. We're going to go all the way down to the 20th fret and, and play that. So that's going to be on the G string, the 20th fret of the G string. Make sure that's right. Yep, yeah, 20th fret. <laughs> and you're going to do a slow bend up. And then do a vibrato on the end there. So it's three pick strokes. And then we have this lick. So that's going to be 17th fret of the B, 20th fret of the B. So you're doing a hammer on pull off. So you're going to pluck the 17th fret, hammer on to the 20th, and then pull off. So. And then this is a pull off here on the G from the 20. 19 to the 17 so and then you're going to come here to the uh, 19th fret and go and then play one pluck here on the 17th fret and then we'll vibrato so we have play that again slowly Okay, we go back up here to where we were before playing something real similar. We go back to the ninth fret of the G. It's the same riff we played in the very beginning of the solo, but this time we're going to go. And that's going to be ninth fret of the G, seventh fret of the G, back to the ninth fret of the G, 
eighth fret of the B, seventh fret of the B, vibrato. So the next part we go in this is actually like a pedal uh, tone lick. Uh, Ingve plays these quite a bit, so it's a. Uh... Okay, so we're doing set uh, 15, 17 on the high E, so 13, 17, 12, 17. So we have. And then we come to the 15th fret of the B, back to the 17th fret of the high E. So this this note here, basically, what is that note? That is an A note. We keep coming back to that note. Slide from the 15th fret to the 13th fret, and then do it. That's going to be a hammer on pull off from the 12 to the 13. And then you're going to slide out, out to the 10th fret of the B. So we have. Okay, so now that little part right there, that that was a little bit difficult for me to really figure out exactly. I know that Lynch is playing those notes, but he is doing something different in there. You know, he has that really quick little slides that he does. I cannot reproduce those, but he'll kind of take a first finger or a middle finger and he'll just go back and forth. I can't do it. But uh, so I'm kind of thinking maybe he might have used that technique right there. Instead of the hammer on pull off right there, he's doing a little slide from the 12 to 13 there. Of course, if you're a Lynch purist, uh, you'll have to study that a little closer and see if you can figure that out. Let us know if you figure out what it is. <laughs> okay. So then we have this, uh, this tapping lick. So the first part, we're not actually tapping the first part, we're plucking, and then we're hammering on. So I'm plucking, I'm, I'm actually fretting here on the 10th fret of the G. I'm plucking the string, I'm not tapping the point, I'm plucking it up, and then I'm hammering on with my pinky here on the 14th fret, so that's the G string. So, so we have tap on the 17th fret of the G, pull off, and then we're coming back and sliding, so, so we slide out of that, pull off, 10th fret, 9th fret, hammer on the 10th fret, hammer on the 12th fret, and then tap again here on the 16th fret, so we have Then you're pulling off, so you're tapping, pull off, pull off. So that's 12 to 10, and then you're going to hammer on the 14th fret of the D with your pinky. Hammer on, pull off, hammer on, tap here on the 17th fret of the D string, tap on the 16th fret. Then we kind of slide back out. So we'll play that again slowly. And it's just, or whenever you want to end that. So let's go through the whole solo slowly.